Welcome to Cardiff, Europe's fastest growing city. The capital of Wales is buzzing. There's been a huge investment in redevelopment and new buildings. Cardiff Bay has brought energy, jobs and waterfront city living. This week we'll need all our professional home finding skills to settle Steve and Helen before their wedding day in just eight weeks time. It's really important to us that we can get in very quickly because obviously getting married and everything we'd ideally like to move in when we come back from our honeymoon. Childhood sweethearts, they've lived in Cardiff for five years but starting married life with a new address isn't their only motivation. One of the main reasons for me wanting to move location is simply because we're on a very busy road. It's the main road into Cardiff. And as you can see, we get lots of traffic, therefore lots of noise. We're looking at a budget of 96,000. Perfect houses is semi-rural, somewhere to park the car. Nice big rooms, lots of light coming in. Somewhere where you lock the gate on the world as opposed to the front door. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Hi, guys. Congratulations on here, the big Thank days you. coming up nice and close. <laughs> Steve and Helen want to live away from the bars and restaurants of Cardiff Bay. So we start our search four miles north of the city centre in Whitchurch. It has a busy village like atmosphere but quiet, leafy side roads. Our first property is a Victorian terraced house with loads of loft space. The price is £95,950. No wonder the particulars say internal inspection is essential. Oh, wow. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> it has this sort of Mediterranean feel. Yeah, it certainly does. Very nice. First reaction. I really like it. Like yeah. it. It's no unexpected from no, outside. No. Gosh. It's really no. nice. How about the space of the whole thing? Front to back, lovely and light. Yeah. Yeah, light's what we're really after. Nice. This house belongs to a builder. He's right. lived here for nine years and he's gradually, slowly done it up himself. Yeah. There are details, but it's not fussy, no. is it? How do you feel about this floor? I love it. Yeah, it's I quite like it unusual. I'm just slipping off my shoe and putting my foot on it. Quite it's cold. It's a very cold. warm day today and it does feel quite yeah. cold. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that would be my thought. The quality continues upstairs and on the first floor there are two bedrooms. Very nice. Bright up here, still, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It still feels nice and open. Wow. What an unusual shape. It's a creatively designed extension to what was a small two up, two down, but it's not quite finished yet. And the radiator's going to fit in there. Right. The, the guy who owns it has assured us that um, it'll all be finished by the time he sells it. Excellent, yeah. Your solicitor should draw up a um, specification of works that you would provide of right. things that you want finished. Yeah, sure. We were worried that the tiny garden might dampen their enthusiasm. Now, this is the shed. Right. I think it's the most glamorous shed I've ever seen. <laughs> glamorous? Yeah but cavernous. Yeah, I mean, there's bags of space in here. There's plenty of storage room, and we have got a lot to store. Steve, come and have a look. Isn't it lovely? Oh, wow. And this house has another surprise, secret stairs up to the attic. Wow, look at the beams. That's a decent it's size, lovely. isn't it? You could easily make another spare room and keep sort of computer and that kind of yeah. stuff up here out of the way, you couldn't That's you? right, definitely. Just a small example of the attention to detail that the guy who owns this house has gone into. All these floorboards are screwed down. I think it would be rare to find a developer who's working for profit to go to those lengths. And that says to me, he hasn't skimped on things like this, he hasn't skimped on the more major items. What do you think? I love it. Yeah, uh, everything? On. Garden's I, quite small. Garden small, um, but I mean rooms like this make it. Really it's right up to them. Maximum it's it's the max, spend, yeah. So they would, they, we would have to live with everything that's here. Yeah, so but you get married and you move in. Yeah. <laughs> While Steve wears rose-tinted glasses, Helen keeps her feet on the ground. Yeah, we have to have a good think. I think it's going to be really useful to see all the other properties as we are literally paying for everything to be done. And perhaps when we see others, we'll realise that perhaps we don't actually need to do that. We want to go a bit lower and spend mm -hmm. the money doing it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're going to do, two miles closer to the city centre. Estate agents might describe Canton as up and coming. Basic houses for people who worked at the docks have now been tastefully converted into very desirable homes. 
How about an investment opportunity on Severn Road? It's a big house that needs lots of work. It costs £89,950 and has off-street parking. Well, having come from somewhere that was about as well finished as it was possible to get, this one's rather opposite end of the scale, unfinished. There's quite a lot of work to do. So you're going to have to have a fair bit of imagination looking around. It's so on the market at £90,000, which we feel is a bit steep. There was, there was a deal to be had, should you be interested in taking the work on. OK, are yeah, you sure. getting us ready for a bit of a, a, bit of a shock? I'm going to say, <laughs> you, you need some imagination, but yeah. I think there's fantastic scope to yeah, do yeah. something right. really special Definitely. here. OK. Wow. Oh, yes. Nice carpet. Hmm. The house is structurally sound, but does need rewiring, new windows, new bathroom and a new kitchen. Oh, this is quite big, actually. It is big. It's a lot bigger than the other one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Needs a bit of work, did you say? <laughs> we had a builder come and do a very good estimate based on what we thought this house needed doing to it. Yeah. Right. And that came to £8,000 plus fat. If they can get the house for £80,000, even having done the work, it would still come in below budget. But will it be ready for their wedding? Yeah. We were also assured that the builder could do the work for £8,000 inside of a month. In a month. Yeah, I find yeah. that slightly <laughs> difficult to believe, yeah. perhaps a little optimistic. But the thing is that you could have it finished by the time you got back from honeymoon. The job includes replacing the bathroom next to the kitchen with a new one upstairs. But it needs a bit of work first. This is where we thought you could bring the bathroom back upstairs. Yeah. We thought it would work much better up here. Yeah. This is a rather nasty looking patch up here. Yeah. At some point, the original slate tiles have been replaced with heavier concrete ones. The old joists can't cope with the new heavy concrete tiles. Right, And that's okay. then water it. Yeah. Again, not a difficult thing to, no. to change. To someone that knows what they're doing. To someone that knows what they're doing. <laughs> you look absolutely <laughs> petrified. Interestingly, there's a house opposite that has been done up and it's on the market with the same agent for £115,000. We think you could do the same here and make a good profit. What would you do if you were getting married in two months' time? Uh, Run. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot, lot of work. potential. There's a lot of space as well. It's a lovely shape house. There is a lot if God forbid I was getting married in two months' time and I had to find a new house, I just couldn't resist the temptation to get in there with the, the old sledgehammer. But are our guys prepared for the hassle eight weeks before the wedding? How about a shed for you, Steve? Yeah. Picture you two coming back from your honeymoon. Builders in there. Yeah. Two months there. late. You in there. <laughs> Another contender, but they need time to think about it. Across Cardiff Bay is the Victorian seaside town of Panar. Its sleepy image is changing with the arrival of a new marina and stylish £350,000 waterfront houses. But the houses in our price range are slightly older. Upper Cliff Drive has an open plan feel. One of the three bedrooms offers sensational bay views. Hence, £95,000. Now, obviously, this is the first modern or modernish property we've been into. Yeah. Will Steve and Helen think dated or retro chic? Nice and light and airy, nice and clean. And... Lots of space, so it seems this room's nice and spacious. Yeah, and it's what estate agents call dual aspect. Right, right. Yeah. Light That's from right. both ends. <laughs> we suspect this is the original Melamine kitchen. Some would say a design classic and it's in perfect condition. Aha. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Casty appears. You could just make this hatch a whole load bigger. Making a breakfast bar is always quite an interesting way of opening up a room. You could have three or four people sat this side, three or four people that side. So it could be a work surface, stroke, dining table. Sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Their eyes didn't light up. There wasn't the same feel about them as they came in. It's not going to be right. In we go. Obviously, having a garage lowers your insurance premium. Oh, right, yeah. Which is a definite benefit. Sure. But somewhere along the line, you're probably paying for this garage. I don't see it as a buying point. I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't pay extra for the garage. Mm -hmm. I, I would never go out and look for a place like this, no. but now I'm in it. Once you get through the front door... I like it. You, yeah. It's fresh and it's quiet. It's just... I know. They're next door, talking it up. They're being quite positive again, which leaves me 
I have to say, very confused about where we're going from here. We've seen three properties, three very different properties. We've had three pretty positive reactions. I'm not sure we're learning quite what makes these two tick just yet. What are you guys thinking? Yeah, we uh, I like, we like it. Yeah. I, I, I think I <laughs> like it a lot. We're surprised though, you would know. You, would you have come in here if we hadn't have bought you? No. 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 I think Phil's quite anti this house. He's much keener on period property. But this house was built in 1965. That means it's nearly 40 years old. It almost is a period property. And although it isn't everyone's cup of tea on the outside, I think the sense of light and space, the airiness that you get when you walk in, makes up for what's on the outside. It's nice. It's, it's, it's strange because you can't get used to the idea that you no. like it, can you? So far, our buyers seem to have liked all the houses we've taken them to. Will they be able to choose just one? The pressure's on because they need to be into a new home before they get married in just two months' time.